A heads up for local dog owners. Researchers are trying to get to the bottom of a mysterious and contagious illness that's making dogs sick. Cases are showing up in a growing number of states, including here in California. CBS 8's Rocio De La Fe joins us live in studio with what dog owners need to know. Rocio. Yeah, well, vets are struggling to find answers for pet owners because they don't know exactly what's causing this new respiratory illness. But more and more cases are popping up, including here in Southern California. There's an infectious disease spreading that we don't know what it is and we don't know how it's transmitting or how to treat it. Dog owners are being urged to be on the lookout for any signs their pet may be sick. A chronic cough, one that doesn't seem to be getting better, you know, is pro potentially progressive or getting worse, decreased energy, decreased appetite. The symptoms are similar to other respiratory infections, such as canine influenza and kennel cough, which is why Dr. Joshua Jonas at Southpaw Vet says it's hard to know just how many dogs have been infected. What's frustrating is we don't know if it's bacterial, if it's viral, if there's a component of both. Unlike other illnesses, this disease does not respond well to antibiotics and standard treatments. It can also spread easily. Los Angeles County officials say they're investigating at least 10 reports of sick dogs that have tested negative for common viruses and bacteria. It's hard with the holidays, people traveling, boarding dogs. Dog owners I spoke to tonight tell me they're not taking any chances. So right now we're just avoiding dog parks and mainly just getting him together with dogs that we do know or families that we do know. Dr. Yonis is urging dog owners to make sure their pets have the updated recommended vaccines. To prevent infection, pet owners are advised to avoid traveling with pets and minimize exposure in social settings like dog parks, boarding and daycare. And if not treated, this illness can develop into pneumonia, which can be deadly. And we should clarify that this appears to be unrelated to a bacterial outbreak at the uh, San Diego Humane Society. Right now, they have hundreds of dogs in their care, and they can't isolate a suspected sick dog. Instead, they're treating every dog with antibiotics to prevent the illness from spreading.